It is so exciting to know all the things that we've done here at Blue Hole, but especially what we're proud of is our one water system. And we have an awesome group of young men and young ladies. Our second grade GT class is going to explain to you exactly how this system works here at Blue Hole. I'm so excited to see this. of Blue Hole Primary holds 10,000 gallons of wa water. The water in the tank is rainwater. The water in the tank in front of the Blue Hole Primary is used to water the grass and trees in front of the building. The gutters that right it over there or bring the water into the tank. This is about our limestone blocks. Our drinking water comes from the gr underground water. Rain helps recharge our water supply, like this. See how it sinks in? Pervious and impervious. Pervious allows water to sink in. Impervious uh, um, just rolls off the side. We have pervious and impervious on the sidewalks when you walk in. Now I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to pour this water and look. It sinks in. And on this side, when I pour it, it just goes just runs down, it doesn't sink in. And so that side is called impervious, that's impervious because it just rolls off and now it sinks in to the aquifer. The vegetative filter strip slows down stormwater. It, it helps allow water to sink in. It also slows down erosion. It stops bad things from before they go into the groundwater. It also helps less flooding. See how there's not that many curbs in this parking lot that, like this one? That's because the parking lot is in an angle so the rainwater can go into the grass and sink in. Firefighter supply tank. The, the firefighter supply tank holds more than 200,000 gallons of water. It's big skinny and it's tall. It's a sign for the firefighters to know that they can use it. This water is only for firefighters. It feeds the fire hydrant and fire sprinklers and it has hose connections. This is the site of Richard supply tank. It is, low, it is the lower and wider one. It's lower so gravity can help the water get into there, into the tank. And it holds more than 200,000 gallons. And it collects rainwater. And as you can see, there's purple that it's from the purple pipes. The purple pipe is rainwater. Plumbers use it to show it's not potable water. Potable water. Non-potable water means you can't drink it. A blue hole, purple pipe means that it was caught here. Rainwater lands on the 78,000 square feet roof and is also in, caught in AC condensate. And there's 84 ACE. The water is stored right over there. It comes here and then it gets used. This is the plumbing window. They are, all the pipes are color coded to what they mean. Red is hot and potable water. Blue is cold and also potable water. They are both Alcatexas groundwater. Yellow means ventilation. Green is gray water, can we can also call it dirty water. Purple is rainwater and AC condensate, also known as site harvested water. The Blue Hole Primary was built with STEM principles in mind. It uses science, technology, engineering, and math to immerse the students 
in the experience. For instance, this is a rain tube. When it rains, you can see the water entering into the system. This water winds up in the site harvested supply and that's what's used for flushing the toilets here. Thank you to the designer. Thank you to the construction worker. Thank you for all the engineers that helped to make the plans and help to build the school. Thank you, builders. I want to thank the community who supported us. I wanted to thank the businesses that worked with us. I want to thank to the school board for helping us. And thank you for to the administration. Thank you! <laughs> thank you so much, boys and girls, for showing us around today. And thank you, Robin, from the Wimberley Watershed. We hope you've enjoyed our tour and um, enjoy our school just as much as we do. It's beautiful.